Hello, mister, how are you? Hi, teacher, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great, great. Let me see that I'm texting everybody that we have class right now. Okay. So, how's everything? How was your day? Tell me. Um, it's a great day. And is the finished class now? Yes, today is the last class. Okay, the last? Uh, ultima. Yep. Exactly. I will text it to you. Is the last, the last, last class. Okay. Yeah, we will see how many people connect. That as you see, some people already finished the platform. So they don't connect no more. Mr. Roberto, hello. Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Luis. Hello. Hi, teacher. Luis, it's the first, no, the second time I see you with a different shirt. Oh, <laughs> yes. You usually have the one from your job. Uh, yes. Um, the uniform. Yes, es que... Um, ¿Cómo es? My usually? Work, yeah, usually my work ends at five o'clock, but I do in other... Um, overtime. Yeah. Overtime? Um, Overtime, no, no, I not do horas extra, pero no, no hago. <ríe> Sino que normalmente hago otras cosas y no, total, nunca llego acá a la casa luego, entonces no logro cambiar. <ríe> okay, you don't get home early. Ok. Perfect. Ajá. Listo. Este. Well, Francisco, I just know him by the picture, I think. Yeah, you've never connected the camera, Francisco. <ríe> It's like, uh, yeah. let's see. no, Rosario, yeah. yes, sometimes she Hi, connects. Teacher. Hi, Rosario, how are you? I'm very good, teacher. Okay. I, I got to the world. Oh, yes, you, you went to work yesterday, today, and tomorrow, no? Yes, yes. Oh, that's right, that's it's right. It's okay. That's fine. Linda, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Linda? Fine, fine, thank you, teacher. And you? I'm just fine, thank you. Oh, there's Rosario. Right, teacher. <laughs> so, Linda, tell me, how was your day? Uh, Boring? Yes. Why? So, so. Well, you're not <laughs> working, so you stay home. No. Yes, I'm boring. I watch TV and read a book. Oh, really? Do you like reading? Yes, I like reading. Okay. Uh, I remember that I will send you some, well, I will send it to the group, some readings, some links for you to look for some readings so you can yes. hear. That's Please. nice. And that's great. That's great. I, I need, love reading. I yeah. yeah. Love reading. I it's love reading. Wonderful. Usually I read like like two books per week. Ah, okay. Oh, I... there's Renberto. Renberto, you are comfortable. Renberto is very comfortable. He was in a swing chair. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I yes. love those. They are comfortable. Let's see, there's Erica. Hello, Erica. Hello, teacher. Oh, Erica is very smiley all the time in the picture. <laughs> no, I never see her like, like the real time. I just see her face on the picture. Hello, Erica. Yes. How are you today? I'm fine. I went to work today. Oh, really? Yes. How was work? 
Yes. How was your work? A good day or bad day? A heavy day? Uh, usually, uh, so, so, uh, because okay. I, I, not, um, when, how do I put it? Hay mucha afluencia de, de, de gente, la verdad. Oh, really? Many people? Yes. Do you remember yesterday's class? Quantifiers? A lot of people. Many a lot, people. A a lot, lot of, people. of people. That's from yesterday class, Erika. Hey, I connected, but my connection was is bad not... Yesterday. Yes, in... Por eso me salí. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Hello, Brenda. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Fine. And you? I'm just fine, thank you. Well, mm -hmm. here I am happy that is the last day and I am sad that is the last day. Because <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be with you next level. Have you enrolled for next level? Do you fill in the paperwork? Remember, you have to fill in all the paperwork for the next level. You have the opportunity, if your company gives you the opportunity and you, if you can fill in the paperwork, do it. The yes. soon as possible because it's very good and it's gonna help you. So let's see who's who's here, who's here. There's Linda, Roberto, Francisco, Teacher. Brenda. Yes, Paul. Hello, Paul. Sorry, Paul, Hello. I couldn't hear how, you. Oh, how old are you to teach English? Oh, okay. You're asking me how many years have I taught English? ¿Cuántos años he enseñado inglés? Okay, the question is this, Paul. How long have you long? taught English? Oh, yesterday I was telling you, I've been teaching English for 20 years. 20 years? Yes, 20 years teaching English. I am, I am 40 years old. I started teaching English when I was 20. I started teaching English at uh, Universidad Pedagógica. When I was 20. And since then on, I've been working in different places. I work for the government. I work here with uh, Inglés Corporativo. I work for Universidad Don Bosco. Uh, I also teach, uh, I work also for Colegio Garcia Flamenco in San Salvador in the English Academy they got. I have worked with Garcia Flamenco for 10, 11, almost 12 years now. So I, in this thing of teaching English, I've been for teaching for a little while. So Yes, Paul, I, I am old, I am old. You know, I got white hair. <laughs> I am old, it's been a while. So there's, oh, Ade, hello, Ade. Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm just great today. How are you? Fine, thanks. Okay, guys. Today's class is going to be a little bit different because mostly we are going to be talking. We are going to be speaking, but I'm going to be like asking you questions related to all the grammar we have covered in the whole course, okay? okay. Because we have seen a lot of grammar. We have seen a present progressive, we have seen simple present, we have seen WH questions, adverbs of frequency. We have seen uh, comparatives, do you remember? Superlatives. Yes. So, today we are going to make a little review of everything. Okay? Because okay. remember, the most important part, as you have noticed, is for you to speak. 
That's why I have always divided you in groups, into groups for you to practice because you need to practice. You need to interact with other people, not just with me as a teacher. Something else that perhaps you could notice is that the speed in which I am talking to you is different. Mostly about speaking, okay? Mr. Luis Oliva, hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. That's great. Tell me, Luis, did you go to work today? Uh, yes, yes, I, I, in my house. Oh, work. you work from home? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Excellent. Oh, there's Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Hello, teacher. How are you? Bien, you sir. I'm just great. So tell me, guys. Tell me, Eduardo. What did you do today? Eduardo is always fresh, you know, a teacher, relaxed, drinking a little something. That's cool. It's like Roberto that he is in a same chair, you know, very relaxed. <laughs> Tell me, Eduardo, how was your day? Well, um, I sleeping all day, I play video games and... Say what? Sleeping all day? Yeah. <laughs> cool. That's nice. Uh, okay. When do you go back to work? Oh, uh, uh, July 6th. July the 6th. Okay. And um, I work to my 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 video and I have a two. Um that's that's all. That's not not much more interesting than that. Okay. Okay. What about you, Paul? Just at home. Thank you, Lord. I'm sorry. Thank you for interrupting you. Paul, hello. Tell me, Paul. How was your day? My day was a little hard because Already? yeah, because I have a uh, a call the the new client the new client is a little difficult oh. because it's uh, it's difficult to give me the information in your style okay so it was the client was difficult difficult to deal with the client was difficult to deal with. To deal with. Yes, de tratar. De tratar, a deal. Yeah. To deal with, okay? Hey, there's Cesar. Hello, Cesar, how are you? Good evening, Cesar. How are you tonight? Fine, thing. How are you, teacher? I'm just fine. Tell me, Cesar, uh, do you usually have, uh, how do I say it? Do you usually have meetings in your company? Yes, I usually have two or three per day. Oh, really? Yes. Two or three minutes a day. Wow. Yeah. Oh, there's Erica. With, with, yes, tell me, tell me. With my clients. Too. Oh, with clients. Yes. Okay. What about you, Erica? Do you usually have meetings in your job? No, uh, in this moment, no. But. Uh, usually? What? Usually, uh huh. And uh -huh. <laughs> two, cada dos meses. <laughs> two every two months. Uh -huh. Every two months. Every two months. Okay. What about you, Mr. Fuentes? Do you usually have meetings? Um, no, I don't understand the last word. Meetings, reuniones. Ah, meeting. Oh, yeah. Just today. I I have a meeting. How many meetings do you have a week? 
Uh, algo que era un... ¿Cómo es alrededor? Uh, around. Around. Around, ok. Around of three. For, uh, uh -huh. Three per week. Yes. Or, um, or plus. Depende. It could vary. Excuse me. It could vary. Podría variar. Ah, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. So, Cesar got a lot of meetings. Uh, what about you, Mr. Perez? Do you usually have meetings? Uh, no, in this moment, no. Not in this moment. No, in this moment. But normal, when you are normal in your job, how many meetings do you have per week? Um, usually, mm, um, two or three in the weekend. Two or three in the weekend or in the week? In the, in the week. Okay. You know what? Instead of saying in the week, it's better if we say during. During the week. Durante la semana. Yes, exactly. Or you can say all along the week. You see that expression? All yeah, along the week. Along the week. That means a lo largo de. All along the week. A lo largo de la semana. Okay. Yeah. Now, now let's see, let's see. Linda. Linda yes, is on teacher. vacation right now. Yes. Tell me, Linda, now that you are home, what do you like more? Uh, what do you prefer to to watch TV or to listen to music? I watch TV. I prefer to... I prefer to watch TV. Why? Because it's... It for is. me, it is enjoy. Ah. More fun? Or yes, funnier? More, more fun. Okay. Do you remember the comparatives? Yes. Okay, who's working from home? Cesar, you're working from home, aren't you? Yes, yes. Okay, tell me, Cesar, what do you prefer? To work, what is better for you, to work from home or to work in the office? I prefer work in the office. You prefer to work in the office? Yes. Why? <laughs> no, I think I don't have it. At the work, I don't have it. Distractions. Yes. So it's you are you are more focused in the office. Remember the comparatives. In this case, I am saying as I got a long adjective focus, I said more focus. focus. You remember when we okay. have a long adjective, we put the word more at the beginning. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see if you remember this basic, basic question. Let's see, let's see. Who's it going to be? Paul. Paul, answer this question you. for me, please. Tell me, what do you do, Paul? Do you remember this question? I texted it. Uh, yes. Yes, I think in other question. You are a teacher. Um, do you think uh, other professions? Do I have? Do you, do you have other profession? Well, no profession. I have um, different occupations. Occupation. Yes, I have different occupations because I I studied uh, my high school. I studied uh, bachillerato in electricity. So I am an electrician. <laughs> and 
I also work, I also work uh, plumbing. Do you know plumbing, guys? No. <laughs> What's that mean? Oh. I am also a plumber. Uh, a plumber. I also work in installing ceilings. Cielo false. Yeah. Look at this one. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. I did it last week. Oh. Oh. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations. I do that. <laughs> I can also, oh, of course, I can paint. I work in painting. I can also, oh, I got a new word for you. Well, I'm, I think I can also weld. Do you know what is weld? No. No. Soldar. No. Ah. Soldar. I can you work have... that too. So remember, these are not prof these are not professions. These are occupations. 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 Because to become a teacher, I studied a career at the university. Okay. Teacher. Mm -hmm. So I graduated as an English teacher. But these sure. are occupation, yes? How do you say soldador? Welder. Welder. Yes. When you have when you have uh, the words like plumb, like weld, if you add to those words at the end, ER, like in plumber. Lumber. Like in welder, welder. The ER refers to the person who makes that action. Uh, As I tell you, in my case, I have a profession and I have many different occupations. Let me see what else I can do. Oh, I know some things about masonry. What's that mean? Albañilería. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's masonry. Mm -hmm. I can do something, some things, little things, but I can. <laughs> so, uh, you know, yeah, they keep me busy in home. You know, my wife, like, do this, do that. That's normal. So, it's good. Now, guys, WH questions. Let's see. Everybody think one question from you to me, okay? Okay. Let's see who's gonna start. Cesar, you're very quiet tonight. Cesar, please ask me something. Uh, uh, let me see. What color do you prefer? Black. My okay. favorite color is black. Very good question, Cesar. Excellent. Thank you. My favorite color is black. Uh, let's see. Paul, Teacher. please. Teacher, what kind of music do you like? It? Ooh. All I, love, I love classical music. Classical I love, music. Yes, I love of opera. Sample? I love opera. Uh, Carmen is one of my favorite operas. Carmen, uh, the Maria section. Kaya. Mm, uh, I prefer most uh, Maria Antonella when she say Callas. Maria Callas, you know, mm, too old perhaps for my taste. I, <laughs> I like Maria Callas when she sings uh, Carmen, the section Habanera is my favorite. But yes, I like Maria Callas, but it's, wow, old. You're talking about the 60s, 50s. That was her bloom. Mm -hmm. But I also listen to black metal, death metal, okay. doom. I mean, uh, I like uh, pretty heavy rock. So my taste in music is very wide because I like dancing also. I love to dance. Okay, thank you, Paul. Rosario, one question for me, please. You love to dance. Yeah, I love dancing. I dance salsa, 
I dance merengue and I dance bachata. ¿Quién diría? ¿Quién diría? Do you like dance? Yes, I love dancing. Uh, I, I have it. I have danced for a long while. Uh, actually, I was in charge of uh, two groups of dancing mm -hmm. for okay. like three years. So I used to me train and create choreographies. Okay, I, I me too. I like dance. Oh, that's nice. Excellent. Yes. So do you like swim? Do you like swim? Swimming or swimming. singing? Oh, swimming. Swim, swimming. Yes. Nada. Yes, yes, I do. I do. I like that. I like swimming. Thank you, Rosario. Now let's see, Mr. Fuentes, Luis Fuentes, please. One question Teacher. for me. Yes. Okay. When is your birthday? My birthday is December seventeenth. Okay. December. Okay, thank you. It is far. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty far from now. Okay, now let's see, let's see. Uh, Linda. Yes, teacher. Please ask me. Uh, where do you live? I live in San Martin. Okay. Okay, let's see, Brenda. What is your hobby? Oh, my hobby. Reading, perhaps. I love reading books. That, that I could say that is my hobby. As I was telling you before and early in the class, I read around two books per week. Yeah. Interesting. In English or, or Spanish? <laughs> Mostly I read English because that helps me to practice. More vocabulary. Yes, exactly. Let's see, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Eta. Ask me. Ya pregunté. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. And let's see who's missing. Roberto. You haven't asked me, Roberto. Teacher, what yes. food do you like? What? Can you repeat, please? What food do you like? Oh, food. What food? Well, yes. In one class, I in one class I tell I told your classmates what's my favorite food. Let's see if you remember, guys. Pizza. Oh, pizza! How many oh, slices? Yes. <laughs> how many slices of pizza do I eat, Rosario? Uh, three slices. Two slices. Three. <laughs> mm -mm. Come on, guys. Uh, or pizza. Many, 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 many. Yeah, <laughs> many, I can eat many. a big pizza. Like a lot, uh -huh. from, a lot. from 8 to 12 slices of pizza. Okay. Eating, eating slices. 8? From 8 to 12. From 8. De 8 a 12. Um. So I can eat a big or a giant. I love pizza. So now we change, we switch. I'm asking you guys, okay? okay. So let's see, Cesar. Yeah. Okay, Cesar, tell me. Do you like Chinese food? Yes, I like it. Okay. What's your favorite dish? Uh, orange, orange chicken. Oh, really? Yeah, with rice and tomato. Okay, so you like, you like the bitter, the bitter sweet taste. Bitter sweet. Yes, I like. Los sabores agridulces, bitter sweet. 
Okay, okay. Sweet. Oh, that's nice. Me too. I love that. Okay, okay Linda. Hello, teacher. Okay, I got a good question for you, Linda. So pay attention. Okay. Tell me, Linda, if you could invite us, the whole group, for a dessert, what would you prepare? Yes. Yeah. What would you prepare? <laughs> the question is this. What yes. would you prepare? Uh, I prepare banana bread. Okay. Do you remember, guys? Wool. Do you remember that I explained in a class? Uh, Wool. I, I will, will prepare, prepare banana bread. Okay, okay. Remember, will prepararia. I, I will prepare prepararia. I Remember, prepare. if somebody asks you using will, they are asking you about that probability, a possibility. Okay? Yes, yes. That was a class. Yes. Okay, let's see. Paul. Yeah, tell me, please. Okay, Paul. Imagine that you invite Eduardo, Mr. Eduardo Flores, for a drink. Tell me, what would you invite? What would you treat? What would you treat him to? Treat. What treat? Uh. Invita. I who invite a, a travel a or country? No, or no, 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 no. Listen, Paul, you are inviting him for a drink. Drink. Ah, I who like, I who invite to drink a, a coca, a conga mix. A conga mix. <laughs> Yes. Okay, can you explain to the rest of the class what are, what are the ingredients? Is the um they are plural. Orange. Do you remember plural? Uh -huh. They they are orange. Uh -huh. um, whiskey. Okay. Or, or, or rum. Be careful, Eduardo. <laughs> <laughs> um Rum. Harabe, harabe, what, what is Sirup. it? Sirup. Sirup. Uh, Sirup. Strawberry, strawberry Sirup. Okay, that's perfect. Strawberry Sirup. Sirup. Mm -hmm. And that's it. With lemon. With lemon. Yes. Okay, excellent. Lemon. Uh, teacher. Yes, uh, Paul. What, what, what level do you teach after us? I don't know yet. They let me know later. I don't know yet. Okay. So let's see. Thank you. Let's see, Mr. Fuentes. Hello, Mr. Fuentes. You've been quiet for too long. I got a question for you, Mr. Fuentes. Okay. Okay, Mr. Fuentes. Tell me. Uh, let's see. Are you married? Yes, I married. Okay. okay. Tell us. <laughs> I'm sorry, we are going to pry. We are going to pry. Vamos a inmiscuirnos un poco. Ah, okay. Right. Tell us, where did you meet your wife? Um, meet, meet the reunion, okay? Conocer. Ah, excuse me. Okay. Uh, I met she in the shirt. I met her. I met her in the Do shirt. That? Do you remember the pronouns? I met her. I met her in the shirt. In the what? Shirt, creo que es iglesia. Iglesia. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Do you remember? Do you remember the prepositions of place? I told you that I met her at church. At Short. Do you remember okay. we saw in, on, at? So you met her at church. 
Lewis. Okay. On Sunday. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lewis. After the misa, no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> Mes. Mes. Mes, okay. Mes. Yes. Wow. Shame on you, Luis. Shame on you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Luis. Now let's see, let's see who's new. Uh -huh. Helen, I saw her around, but she left. Oh, there's Helen. Hello, Helen. Hello, Douglas. <laughs> How sorry. are you? <laughs> I'm so tired. The uh, I I just uh, coming in my house. You're just uh, getting I'm, home. Okay. This uh -huh. guy, the expression will be I just got home. Got. No es, no es coming. No. I just got home. Ah, uh, I just got home, and or I. Or you can uh, hold on, Ellen. Helen, you can say, I just came back, back. to my house. Ah, I okay. just came back to my house. That's wow. formal. But as we are here, you know, in, a, in an easy environment, aquí estamos en confianza, an informal way, you say, oh, I just got home. That's informal. Uh -huh. Okay, I just got home. If you I want to say it home. formal, it's, I just came back home. Oh. <laughs> or if you are doing it right in this moment, do you remember the present progressive? That's just that's this week. I, you can okay. say I am just I am. arriving. Uh, arriving. Yes, okay. do you remember the present progressive? The present continues? That present. was this week. Yes. Yes. <laughs> say, okay. I am just arriving. Okay. okay. So really, Helen, where were you? Yeah, uh, uh, I on went a date? to the. Huh? Were you on a date? No. Yes. Uh, oh. I went... You were on a date. <laughs> but my, but with my doctor. <laughs> oh. Date uh, with my doctor. <laughs> Helen, you don't go on dates with your doctor. You have an app. Appointment. Appointment. Yes. Appointment. Okay, uh, listen, Helen, listen. Cuando es una cita con el médico es appointment. Si es romántica es date. Si usted me dice que fue, que fue on a date with your doctor, okay, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. You see the It's difference? possible. Yeah, it is possible. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. <laughs> no. Yeah, everything no. happens. No, I have a point. A point with my doctor. Okay. Appointment with my doctor. Okay. Um, I had a doctor's appointment. I had. I, I had a doctor's appointment. I have a doctor's appointment. Okay. okay. Well, but the good thing is that you are here in class. Thank you, Helen. Uh, thank you. Ade. Hello, teacher. Hello. Ade. Isn't your other name Ruth? Yes, my my first name is Ruth. Okay. My second name is Adelina. Mm, my middle name. Middle name. Yes, we don't say second name, we say middle name. Middle name. Remember, yes. guys, we have a first name, we have a middle name, we have a last name, and we have a mother's name. Okay? Okay. Look at those words. My first name is Douglas. My middle name is Rodolfo. My last name is Arevalo. My mother's name is Amaya. So I am Douglas Rodolfo Arevalo Amaya. You see? Yes, okay. So your first name is Ruth. Ruth. And your middle name is? Is Adelina. 
Okay, what's your last name, Adelina? Uh, my last name is Rodriguez. Oh, okay. Do I have any other Rodriguez here? No, I don't. <laughs> no. no. Rosario is Perez. I don't know. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ade. So, as you can see, we have had a 40 minutes conversation. It's important for you to remember. If you could notice, we have been practicing almost all the grammar points we have seen during this month. And I will, I will repeat it in Spanish. Como han podido ver, hemos estado practicando casi todos los puntos gramaticales que hemos visto a lo largo del mes. Y no hemos hecho nada más que conversar. In a regular conversation, it's very important for you to remember. You are not going to use just one structure. You need to practice all of them and get used to include all of them. Because in a regular conversation, you don't speak just in present or just in past. We use them all. I mean, uh, right now, we are practicing just speaking, present progressive. I am here at home, prepositional place. Usually, we have this class from eight to nine. Usually, adverbs of frequency. We have had this class four times a week. Oh, simple present. I think, uh, do all of you connect regularly? Questions, yes, no questions. I have been asking you personal information using WH questions. So you see, a conversation moves with everything. And it's very important for you to remember that everything is important, but don't worry that sometimes you forget some words. That's normal, okay? What is important is that you try to practice and practice. So, if I don't see you no more in another level, remember, my advices for you are, grammar is important, yes. But right now, you got to focus not just in the grammar, not just in the rules, focus on practicing. Because at the level that you are now, you can already understand. I mean, I speak almost one hour just in English. And according to the responses of the answers I get from you, I cannot, I can note that you understand me. I mean, because I go personal and I start asking questions directly to all of you and you can understand me. So that means that your level of English is not basic. You are really into a, already into an intermediate level. Now is the point where you need to start practicing more. What are the keys for practicing? Uh, doing exercises, if you have a chance to do them online. I mean, you are not going to have class, I think, for one week. Because classes start in July, if I'm not mistaken. Right? The class for next level starts in July. Mm -hmm. Yes. July okay. six. Yes. So you will have what? Uh, 11. Teacher. Yes. The practice makes at the master. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, practice makes. I mean, practice is it's everything. When you want to speak a language, practice is everything. Of course, you will not have the opportunity to practice here in a class. But I mean, uh, if you want to text me, if you want to send me an audio, you can send me audio, WhatsApp. I can help you, I can correct you. That's no problem, okay? So if, okay, you, if you want to keep on communicating with me, perfect. For me, Thank excellent. You. The only thing that I will ask you is try to always, if you text me or if you send me a, a voicemail, English. Focus on trying to use English. 
for me, no problem. I can help you anytime. Okay? I mean, uh, I love teaching and I love not the word teaching. I love helping in any way I can. So if you need to practice, if you need extra information about a topic, text me. I'm there for you, okay? So, uh, well, it's almost time. Let me tell you guys uh, a little farewell words. It's been a pleasure for me working with you guys. It's been interesting. It's been fun. Sometimes we have had fun. Uh, I like seeing some of you very relaxed, like Paul and Eduardo, they are always relaxed, which is good. I mean, oh, there's also Roberto swinging. It's good, whatever works for you. Let's see, who's the one who's always at the beginning talking with his girlfriend? Is that you, Francisco? Uh, Is that you, no? Sí, yes. Yeah. And let me see, I even remember Rachel, that's Rachel, no? Rachel, uh, no. My wife, uh, my wife name is Jackie. Okay, there was somebody else here who was always talking with his girlfriend. I don't remember it, then it wasn't you. But, I mean, it's good cool for, it's been good, it's been a good experience and I would like to keep on talking to you, keep on helping you. So remember, any doubt, takes me. I will be sending some information, <coughs> some extra information so you can practice and I can send you some extra, uh, I do love working with adults. Me encanta trabajar con adultos. It's nice because you are here because you want to learn. Yeah. And that's important for me. The fact that you are really into learning, that you want to learn English. That's, I mean, that's great for me. So guys, it's been a pleasure. Please remember, fill in your paper, your paperwork. Llenen toda la documentación para que puedan inscribirse. Yeah. And finish the platform. Terminemos la plataforma, los que nos falta un poquito. Cualquier duda se comunican conmigo. Eh, my pleasure, guys. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. So I do teacher. Bye bye. bye. Thank you for all. Thank you, Thank you for all. Thank you for all. No, thanks to you guys. Ahí lo vamos a tener anotado. Para algún día comer y lo comer cucujas en Salvador. Hoy. Take care, guys. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank bye, Cesar. Bye, Helen. Bye bye. Bye, 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 bye teacher. Bye. Thank you. Don't so, forget texting me. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, bye teacher. Bye.